When it comes to a TV show, there are two ways to go with the main character, specifically their character development. You can either show the way a character changes the world, or the way a world changes a character, or both. But you need to choose at least one before you tell a story. Before we begin, it's important to note that in this video, I'm specifically talking about the way the show is written, not how entertaining it is. I found Breaking Bad to be extremely entertaining and one of the most fun series I've ever watched. That being said, Walter White, in a literary sense, fulfills neither of the two aforementioned archetypes, bar the first few episodes. To begin, I first want to determine which of these paths the writer wanted to take. Let's take a look at the summary of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad follows Walter White, a meek high school chemistry teacher who transforms into a ruthless player in the local methamphetamine drug trade driven by a desire to financially provide for his family after being diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. It's clear from this passage that the premise of Breaking Bad is exactly that, the transformation of a mild-mannered chemistry teacher to drug maker. Clearly, he's not exactly changing the world. He's just becoming a common drug pusher. The world is changing him, however. Because of his circumstance, the world forces him to change it to somebody ruthless, similar to how the world in Attack on Titan forces Aaron to grow up. Based on this passage alone, there would be no problem. The writers chose to show how the world changes Walter. In fact, if this were true, it would easily be in my favorite three shows of all time. My only issue is that 99% of the character development occurs in the first few episodes of the show. There are two steps in learning how to be a drug trader. You need to learn how to make drugs and learn how to sell drugs. That's it. Both of these happened in the first few episodes. Because Walter White has no higher aspirations, he has already accomplished the summary of the show in the first few episodes. In the first season alone, Walter White manages to make enough money for his family to survive for years to come. So what could the writers have done besides repeat the show over and over again, with slightly modified scenarios. The real reason I don't plan on finishing the show anytime soon is because I don't feel like it means anything. When I watch it, it's the same thing over and over again. Walter White tries something new and makes enough money for his family to live lavishly for the rest of their lives. It all changes when Walter White angers someone who's been in the drug trade for a long time. See, you probably can't tell which season I'm talking about because it aptly describes all of them. Playing devil's advocate, you could argue that the focus of the show then shifts away from Walter White providing money for his family to his escape from the law. I would disagree that this makes a difference purely because Walter White as a character does not resemble a person. He may look and act like a person, but in reality he's not. Let me ask you this, what makes a person a person? Is it a drive to be something greater? Is it our way of doing whatever it takes to survive? I believe what really makes us human is the ability to learn from our mistakes and control our future. Does Walter White do this? Does he avoid making the same mistake over and over again? No. Every arc, Walter White needlessly pushes the boundaries of what he should do, contradicting his character as smart and technical. Let's take a moment and compare this to someone like Naruto. Spoiler alert. Naruto, through all 700 episodes, was continually striving to become Hokage, a goal with a mostly clear path. The reason why Naruto was continually able to provide entertaining and thoughtful character development was because his goal wasn't so easily achieved. As the luck of the draw spewed all the world's hatred upon Naruto, he kept learning from his mistakes. For example, even hundreds of episodes in, Naruto is able to learn from someone like Pain's experiences and apply it in the future both in battle and out. Why can't Walter White do this? Does he need to continually risk his family and learn to regret it repeatedly on loop for the entire show? I don't know. But at this point I don't really care because the show has lost my support as a work of literature and I'll only ever pick it back up to be entertained by the quite honestly incredible realism the show has to offer. So let me know down below if you guys agree with me or not. If you found the video interesting in any capacity whatsoever, whether you agreed with it or not, an awesome option would be to hit the like button. This is my first non-anime or video game related video, so it was a fun experience. I'm sure plenty of people will be angry with me and that's okay, you're entitled to your opinion. But that's it for me today. 
ไป